Did Jesus Die for Our Sins? The True Meaning of Original Sin This article shows us the difference between Christianity and Islamic beliefs regarding the original sin. Forgiveness and crucifixion aided by verses from the Bible and Quran as a reference for the source of such beliefs. Once you complete its reading, you will learn each religion's view of these doctrines so you can wait and observe what is more logic and closest to the truth. Before reading, you should know that the writer of this article fully believes in the Christ, peace and blessing be upon him, and is one of his followers and also all of the prophets sent by God. The writer believes that the Christ is the word of God conveyed to Mary who miraculously conceived him. He is spirit from God, a messenger of God and a man of peace. Here we will learn the following. What is the original sin in Christianity? Why did Jesus die for our sins? What Bible verse says Jesus died for our sins? What does it mean that Jesus died for our sins? Did Jesus himself believe in the original sin? The Christ resisted all attempts to kill him. What are the results based on evidence? Do Muslims believe Jesus died for our sins? Death of Jesus in Islam Conclusion So, let's start. What is the original sin in Christianity? The term original sin is a term used in Christianity to describe the effect of Adam's sin on his descendants. Original sin is the sin inherited by all humankind from Adam in his disobedience of God's command not to eat from the fruit of the tree of knowledge. The original sin event is referred to as the fall of man. From a Christian point of view, the original sin committed by Adam and Eve is eating from the forbidden tree. Then God chooses His Son, Jesus, peace be upon Him, as perfect sacrifice for all of our sins. Jesus was the only sacrifice that could make up for a fallen human nature. Christians also believe that they are able to receive the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit directs their lives and brings them to a true belief in God through Christ. However, in Islam the original sin has a different story that you can read in this article, The Original Sin in Islam, Who Sinned First? Why did Jesus die for our sins? Jesus didn't die for our sins. Do you think that God have to do a sacrifice? Is it hard for God, the most merciful, to forgive our sins without any sacrifices? God can simply forgive them, right? When Jesus left the earth, he ascended to God in heavens. So, where's the sacrifice? So, why do you think it is hard to forgive the sin of Adam and Eve and that a sacrifice has to be made? What Bible verse says Jesus died for our sins? Actually, you can find some contradicting verses from the Bible pointing to that claim such as Christ died for our sins, 1 Corinthians 15 verse 3. In the following verse, the claim is clearly mentioned. For just as through the disobedience of the one man the many were made sinners, so also through the obedience of the one man the many will be made righteous, Romans 5 verse 19. Each one shall die for his own sin. In the following verse, however, the claim of Jesus' death for our sins is rejected as the Lord commands. Fathers shall not be put to death because of their children, nor shall children be put to death because of their fathers. But each one shall die for his own sin. 2 Kings 14 verse 6. Indeed, we all believe that God is the most just. Then how can Jesus be responsible for the acts of disobedience committed by Adam and all his descendants? The one who sins is the one who will die. It is also clearly mentioned in the Bible that the one who sins is the one who will die. The child will not share the guilt of the parent, nor will the parent share the guilt of the child. The righteousness of the righteous will be credited to them, and the wickedness of the wicked will be charged against them. Ezekiel 18 verse 20 What does it mean that Jesus died for our sins? It means that one person's suffering abdicate another person from responsibility for his sins, which is irrational and proved to be a wrong belief according to the Bible itself, as early mentioned. To explain that, let's imagine a courtroom scene in which we are on trial for our sins and God is the judge. Our sins against God are capital crimes. God Himself is our judge, according to divine law which is the ultimate justice, is it fair for another man to take the punishment that we deserve? Did Jesus Himself believe in the original sin? For sure Jesus didn't believe in the original sin. To prove this answer, from a Christian point of view, let's have a close observation of what is written in the Gospels. The Christ resisted all attempts to kill Him. In his book, The Christ is Seen in the Sources of the Christian Beliefs, Ahmed Abdul Wahab asserts that the Gospels show that in the last hours, 
the Christ felt that he was overwhelmed by a terrible nightmare whenever he thought of being killed. This is evident from the following. 1. At the end of the period just before the arrest, the last prayer of the Christ was. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. John 17 verse 3. This monotheistic prayer was directly followed by the words meaning that the mission has been accomplished. I have glorified thee on the earth, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. John 17 verse 4. So, the mission of the Christ was complete before crucifixion. Who can deny this clear testimony? 2. In the garden, every scene asserts his refusal to be killed, and shows clearly how he was terrified when he felt that he was about to be hunted. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here, and watch with me. And going a little farther he fell on his face and prayed, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me, and there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. MT 26-37-39, LK 22-43-44 3. After the Christ had left the approaching danger, his cry to his disciples was, Rise, let us be going, see, my betrayer is at hand. MK 1442 He had asked his disciples to rise and help him in getting away from the approaching disaster, but they failed to help him as they were sleeping for their eyes were heavy. 4. When Judas came with the evil power and went up to the Christ and kissed him, Jesus said to him, Friend why are you here? 5. In the trail the assembly of the elders of the people gathered together, both chief priests and scribes. And they led him away to their council, and they said, If you are the Christ, tell us. But he said to them, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I ask, you will not answer me. Or let me go, LK 22:66-68. On considering this passage, one can very well imagine that the answer of the man whom the elders of people have asked could not be other than the following. A. Yes, I am the Christ, or, B. No, I am not the Christ. Every traditional belief in the crucified Christ will not accept answer, B. The plausible answer, A, can be put in the following form. He said to them, Yes I am the Christ, but you will not believe, and if I ask you, you will not answer me, nor let me go. What are the results based on evidence? Whatever the form of the answer is, the inevitable result follows. Assuming that the Christ was the man whom the Jewish elders were questing, it is quite clear that the man was asking for letting him get away. So there is no place for all such saying that the Christ had come to give his life as a ransom for many. Again, if we consider answer, B, it can be put in the following form. He said to them, No I am not the Christ whom you seek, but you will not believe, and if I ask you to release me, you will not answer me nor let me go. This also negatives the ransom theory. All that can be said, whatever the case, about the trail, cancels all theories put to justify the crucifixion and to make it look like a voluntary action of the Christ. Six. Coming to the last testimony, the Gospels attribute to the crucified, in his last breath, is saying, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Can anyone hearing this cry of despair, censure and blame, claim that the crucified gave himself as a ransom for all and became obedient unto death even death on a cross? As Paul says in his letter. About two thousand years ago the Christ stood teaching the Jewish priesthood, the will of God. He said to them, Go and learn what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. Mt. 9.13 But even today, there are those who ignore the truth and refuse the mercy and insist on the sacrifice. Do Muslims believe Jesus died for our sins? Muslims reject the belief of Jesus' death for sins of humanity. In Islam, no soul shall bear the burden of another, as this would be a great injustice. God is the most merciful, the just and the all-seeing for our deeds. God, rather, opens the door for repentance, saying in his book, the Quran. But indeed, I am the perpetual forgiver of whoever repents and believes and does righteousness and then continues in guidance, Quran 20 hours 82 minutes and I am extremely forgiving and pardoning to one who repents to me, does good deeds and is then firm on the truth. Surah Taha 82 Thus, God, the off-pardoning, is pleased when the children of Adam turn to him for his abundant forgiveness. Repentance is a form of worship. To know more about repentance and God's forgiveness in Islam, please read this article, Will Allah Forgive Me?
I have sinned. Death of Jesus in Islam Islam confirms that Prophet Jesus was not crucified, and that Allah saved his life and raised him up to heaven. Rather, another was made to resemble Jesus, so the Jews thought he was the Christ and killed that man. In Quran, Allah clarifies Jesus' situation saying, And, for, they're saying, Indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But, another, was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him, for certain. Rather, Allah raised him to himself. And ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. Quran 4 157-158 I curse them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. Anissa 157-158 Conclusion To conclude, Christians basically believe that they are created sinful and unclean and, therefore, need a Redeemer, Jesus. To take the sins of believers on him so that they may come to God's kingdom when they pass away. However, in Islam, no soul shall bear the burden of another, as those claims would be a great injustice. We refute those claims referring to both the Quran and the Bible. To know more about Jesus and Mary, read this book, The Story of Jesus and Mary in the Holy Quran. Also, you are welcome at any time to have a chat with our team. References Abdul Wahab, A., 1985. The Christ is seen in the sources of the Christian beliefs, a comment on gospel commentaries and studies of some distinguished scholars of Christianity, Cairo, Waba Bookshop. 2011, October 8. Retrieved May 18, 2017, from